Hey parents, this is Mr. McVicker. I just wanted to make a few videos to help you as we are navigating technology. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you. And this video is about logging in to Canvas and finding your students' Zoom link. So we're going to look through 5th, 8th grade, 3rd, 4th, 1st, and 2nd. So you're going to be able to see what each of your grade levels does not like. Just a reminder, when your students log into Canvas, K through 2 is first initial, last initial, and student number. So example right there, AZ123456. Be a great number to have, but don't think that exists in the district. Then 312 is first initial, last initial, birth date in this format, month, month, day, day, year, year, and an exclamation point. So see AZ01. So even though it's January, you gotta get that zero. Zero one, three zero, Two zero zero five exclamation point. They're excited about being born having that. And when they do that, they will come to their dashboard and they will see their classes. And this is my pinned class. If you want to know how to do that, I'll show you, go ahead and show you that really quickly. When you click on courses and they go to all courses, they can put what classes they would like. And what I like to do is they like to get rid of the courses. You see, I could have all these up on my tab, but I don't like that. I just have Phelps Virtual and SPS Counselors. So click that and it would be gone. Make it highlighted and it is there. Let's just go back. And um, I go to Phelps Virtual 2020 because whenever I go into Phelps Virtual 2020, I will get to see all the grade levels and I can click what I want, as well as if I was in a major unit, I'd be able to come down here and look at this major unit, uh, which, man, love how fun those are. Uh, those major units are going really well right now. But here are these courses. So the way Canvas works is we have created a course, Phelps Virtual 2020, and this course then holds links to other courses. So if your child is not in that course, if they are a first and second grader, they are not enrolled as a third and fourth or fifth through eighth. If they click one of these, it'll say not accessible, um, access denied. And same with major units. They are enrolled in do films with wings. They cannot click on the art of storytelling. They cannot see what the others are doing because they are not enrolled in that course. And we're going to go now to look at our Zoom links because that's what we are going to do. And I got distracted. So Phelps Virtual 5th through 8th grade, which you would click here to go into if that was your course getting loading going internet I'll tell you um, I using this Chromebook to make this video so that you guys could I would make sure you see the same things I am seeing it has some slow processing power and I'm gonna go to student view just to make sure uh, I see what you see because mine looks a little bit different so here we go so what your student sees here are all these different links on the side, but you do not have to worry about that for fifth through eighth grade because they're going to come down here and click on thinking skills. And in thinking skills, there will be join the Zoom meeting with your teacher. So you will click on whatever Zoom day you're on. So for example, we're just going to click Monday. And if you're in fifth through eighth grade, you will click on your teacher and Previous meeting recordings will be here. So if you've missed a day, you can go back and kind of catch up. And as you know, there's a lot of uh, time on there in a Zoom recording, several hours. So you're going to be able to still follow the Zoom meeting and the pages to be able to see that. All right, that was fifth through eighth grade. We can exit out there. Now we're going into third and fourth. Oh, uh, I didn't leave student view. Leave student view. Access denied. See, that will that is what will happen to you if you are in a course and you're not supposed to be. Here we go. Now go back into student view. Because that student view earlier was set only to the fifth or eighth grade course. So I'm going to have to leave student view each time to make sure that I don't have to go through that again. Thank you for taking a ride on the counselor failure train. Hey, get to smile, make jokes through it all so that we can keep happening. Humor is good medicine. 
Now, in third and fourth grade, they go to their Zoom meeting through the announcements. So they, the recent announcements will be here. So each morning you can just, boom, see the recent announcements that is on the Phelps third and fourth grade homepage, but you can go into announcements to click on those links. And they will be here. You find your teacher's name. Uh, some kids want to click on the first announcement that they find, but it's not their teacher. So you have to find your teacher, whether it's uh, Peter Wiley, uh, Lincoln Mills, or Gardner Marler, Bird and Greens. So make sure you're clicking on your uh, class students and parents. Uh, make sure your students, that is one common thing. They just want to click on the first Zoom meeting, and it is not uh, helpful. And then for them, in the home section, they will just go down and I believe it is affective education first. And they will click that and that will guide them through their classes. And if you've made it this far, if you're in fifth or eighth grade, I think you already know this, but third and fourth might not. Let's pop this up here. If you do alt or control, alt or control, alt or control. Uh, let's, let's see what happens here. I think it is alt. And this, boom, it goes to the side. So if you have your Zoom meeting pulled up here, and so they can be watching their teacher, then they can follow along on this half of their screen. So Alt, left bracket. And if they want to make it whole, they can go Alt and Enter. And you don't have to use this keyboard here. I'm just putting it up there so you can see what I am doing. There we go. Let's leave student view and go to virtual first and second. And if you are a first and second parent and you have stayed with us through this presentation, I appreciate it. First and second, as we go in, they have a fun way of setting up thinking skills. Oh, let's go into student view. All those little eyeballs there mean uh, you cannot see that link. It helps keep the students from getting confused by teachers hiding links that they do not need to see. Some of the older kids, they can interact more with those, so they leave more open. We see they're just, they're nice, simple interactions. Do not go to Zoom to get into your meeting because there are five different teachers in this group. And so you go to thinking skills and you join that, well, scroll up, frozen. There we go. Join the Zoom session and something interesting that first and second grade have done, which I think is very helpful for those young students. Instead of the links only being in affective education, when they come back for them, their break, they get to come into affective education from thinking skills. I think I said that right now. And the links are there again. So they can join in to those links through that after they take their morning break rather than having to look back to thinking skills. And again, remember, if you want to have the Zoom on one side and this on the other, Alt and over. I will let you pull up the other window over here. And there you have it. That is how you find Zoom for each grade level. Hope that's helpful. Comment below and I'll be checking that to see what other videos would be helpful for you in Canvas. Have a great day.